Hello my dear students, I am here to teach you science chapter 5 plants around us the second part. Please listen to my explanation and do all the exercise given below. Take care of yourself, obey your parents and do all your work on time. Thank you. The leaf is an important part of a plant. It prepares food for the plant. The leaf is also called the kitchen or the food factory of the plant. So the leaf is an important part of a plant. It prepares the food. Now children, the place where your mummy prepares food is called kitchen. So because the leaf prepare food for the plant, so it is called the kitchen or the food factory of the plant. Okay. Now a leaf has a flat and broad part called the leaf blade. Okay. Can you look at the leaf? Just see. You, you can see the leaf. So the flat and broad part of the leaf is called leaf blade. The leaf blade is attached to the stem of a plant through a tiny stalk called petiole. Okay. So you will see the leaf and the stalk, the thin stalk. Can you see that? That is called petiole. Okay, the thick line that runs from the center of the leaf to its tip is called the midrib. Can you see the, you, can you see in the center one long line is there? That is called the midrib. Okay, or you can call it main vein, the main vein. Okay, now there are many lines, small lines arising from the midrib like the main vein and from there you will see many lines coming out running through the leaves okay so they are called side vein okay what are they called they are called side veins from the midrib the lines small lines which are, which is moving towards right left okay in the center that is called side veins a leaf has many tiny pores on its surface now there are small tiny tiny holes in the surface. So these are called stomata. Okay, these are called stomata. So they help the leaf in exchange of gases. Now these stomata help the leaf in exchange of gases. The, the stomata takes in carbon dioxide for the plant and give out oxygen produced by the plant. Now you know that we take in oxygen and we bring out carbon dioxide. Okay. So the plant take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen for us to breathe. So that is why we say we should grow more plants. Okay. A special green color substance is present on the surface of the leaves. You know a special green color. Okay. You, when you look at the leaf you find it green. Okay. So this special color it is called chlorophyll. What it is called? It is called chlorophyll. The main functions of leaves are listed below. Number one. Leaves prepare food for the plants. Children, I have told you that the leaf is called the kitchen or the food factory of a plant because the leaves prepare food for the plant. Leaves help a plant to breathe through stomata. That means the leaves have small holes. Okay, so these help the plant to breathe which is called stomata leaves release oxygen into the air that is used by human beings and animal for breathing so the leaves release oxygens okay and we breathe in oxygen 
So animals and human being use oxygen to breathe. Leaves of certain plants stir a part of the food they prepare. We eat such type of leaves. For example, cabbage, spinach, etc. So leaves of certain plants stir a part of food which we eat. Okay. For example, it is cabbage, spinach. Flowers. Flowers are the most beautiful parts of the plants. Flowers can be of different shapes, size, colors and fragrance. Now dear children, we all love flowers, no? They look beautiful. So flowers are of different color. You will get yellow, you get white, pink, blue, purple. Okay, and they all have different smell. The colored attractive parts of a flower are the petals. Okay, the most attractive parts of a flower are the petals. You know the petals at the side you have those petals there. So they are very attractive. Okay, we love to uh, pluck the petal of rose. A flower also has certain green colored structures. These are the sepals of a flower. So a flower has a certain green color. Okay, green color structures. These are called the sepals of a flower. The main functions of flowers are listed below. Number one, flowers turn into fruits. Now children you must have seen the mango tree. First you see the flowers and then that those flowers turn into fruits. Flowers provide food to butterflies and honeybees in the form of nectar. So when you go to the garden you see many flowers okay and you'll see butterfly sitting on the flower and sucking nectar. So butterfly and honeybee get nectar from the flower.